What's up guys back for another replay analysis this time of week Kings he's playing with a CGWG 24 they actually just met randomly in ranked it's a match in heaven they've been doing uh really really well since then they've been using comms and um they uh he's gotten up into rising star rank so uh not doing too shabby um but so there is love to be found in solo twos guys just letting you know but anyway we Kane's got his replay analyzed by going to patreon.com slash give zero zero did the replay tier hit it up it's usually sold out but people rotate off of it each month or at least i tell them to and uh yeah you can get your replay analyzed so on that we're gonna start this over and uh do some replay first thing i am seeing is we Kane's is very very passive which not necessarily a bad thing but uh this play should be his ball he should have came out and attacked that ball the reason being He's easily there first. Now, the problem is, when it's going off the wall like that, what you want to do is usually drive up the wall, meet it on the wall, and then take it out. Uh, you don't generally want to wait for it to hit the wall because then the, uh, the offensive side can go for the play. But um, he also didn't go for boost. Uh, my life didn't have boost, I should say. So he went for the boost instead. Uh, so no one's going to have boost, and you can probably challenge walls a little bit easier when it's right off the face-off. <laughs> when you have boost, knowing that they probably won't have much. Um, so let's go back here real quick. Nice little feed out. I'm surprised he doesn't follow that up, though. This is very, very surprising. You don't have to be that passive in twos. When you have no boost, it's actually really a good idea to be the passer because you don't necessarily have to fly to it or anything like that. Like, he can just take it up the wall, try for a pass out to the center for his teammate. Instead, he gives up ball possession here right to my life. He does get boost, but he could have got that after the pass anyway. Wins the... Uh, challenge over my life but it doesn't really do much because he threw it low and uh right to the goalie so the goalie gets cleared but cgwg makes the play nice play up the wall beaten one beats both of them actually so let's watch it from his point of view um since it was a good play by him so he does a good job at the start here just kills the ball which is very smart let your teammate get back just in case you lose this 50 50 now the orange guy he just didn't come to challenge that ball so he let c uh g just do whatever he wanted on this play and uh, CG makes him pay for it uh, my life was actually rotating up thinking that CG was gonna lose out on that challenge and that cost him right there he just beats him to the corner gets the goal that's why you should always attack them after their first move when you see someone do a first move like go for the attack and uh, try and take the ball from them that's usually the best time to do it uh, this is just a bad face off he sees like he probably doesn't see it at first but there's no point to jump this early on a face off either way he jumps early, now he just kind of throws it to the side. What you want to do is keep yourself grounded, unless you're going for the fast kickoff. Like, if you're going for the fast kickoff, then you front flip forward. It's a little bit more understandable because you want to conserve boost and get there pretty fast. But here, he just kind of jumps to the side and then side flips. Weird face off strategy. Maybe it works when someone's challenging them, but generally, you want to be grounded. So if you see someone doing that, where they don't go for the face off, then you can uh, pop the ball up instead of going for the front flip and, like, and trying to win a 50-50. Now this play right here, my life makes a play. It's a good boost grab. I think he grabs it. It's just a glitch. Uh, CG just goes a little too high for this ball. And now it's up to Wee Kings to make a play. Just kind of waits a little too long. Like he uh, hesitates maybe a little bit extra than he probably needs to. And then tries to rush it. At this point, he should just jump and leisurely fly to it. He's going to beat my life to this ball if he jumps early enough. Jumps a little late and actually directs himself poorly. Like, one of the most important things on aerials to do is when you're grounded to steer yourself correctly for the aerial. Right here is when he should probably jump because the ball is going towards his net so he can, like, kind of float in the air and wait for it to come to him. Instead, he turns more and then goes for the jump and now he's on a direct path going for the ball. But the ball is heading uh, uh, towards his net still so he doesn't actually get there and just whips on it and uh, that'll end in a goal. All right, we'll continue. I never knew there was music playing in the background. Or I'm going crazy. For that long, at least, on DFH. That was weird. I never realized that at all. Uh, it was very faint, so you guys might not have heard it. Here, making the play. Here, he just drives out. He just predicts his ball incredibly wrong. What do you want to do here? All right, so right there's the challenge. Now, the problem is you can't see on the left. I guess it would be that way. Um... Where the other guy? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, the guy's right there. That little orange arrow. So he sees both players. 
He knows he has plenty of time here. I would just let this ball hit the wall. What you want to do is follow behind it. So just take your time. S uh, sit on the goal line a little bit more. Wait for the ball to hit the ground. And then pop it to the left side of the field. Uh, most likely is where the wide open space is. Instead, he tries to hurry it and gets underneath the ball. And just a bad read of ball speed and ball bounce direction off the wall. So, And that... It's hard to practice uh, predicting where the ball is going to go off the walls, uh, but um, if, uh, that just comes with time played, really. There's not much else you can do there. Uh, this time, he actually reads the ball really well. Ball drops down right below him, and it's a good attack. He has to come out and attack that fast enough so the other guy uh, doesn't get the shot in, in the near post, so that was a good challenge. Again, they're giving CG a lot of time to make moves, and he beats one once again. Uh, doesn't beat number two, but it's fine. Uh, not the greatest hit here, but I understand it was a little bit of a panic hit because someone was coming up for the challenge. And now we're going to move back here. Ooh, hits that curve. So that's always rough. Like, when you see it about to hit the curve, I would bail right away. Just bail. Like, go for that boost maybe. Like, use your boost to get that and then just bail. Like, his teammate's back anyway, so it's not that threatening. And right here, CG makes a good play. Just sees my life. Kind of whiff on it. And both teams are being extremely passive. Like, they don't want to give up an easy goal. So they're generally just leaving one in net. So passes are actually hard to come by from time to time. Now if we go back here. CG tries to make the pass play. Like, I like that. Wee Kings does pressure this a little bit more. But this ball is pretty far out of reach at that point. Uh, it's just a bad read there. Like, once it's past the net, there's really no point to go for it. Because you won't be able to do much with it. But they do get back on defense in time. CG trying to bring it up to the left side. Just kind of pushes it a little bit too far uh, out of his reach, so he can't really make a play. It's a good idea by Wee Kings trying to cancel out that play. Great save, actually, too. So he's trying to just, like, get in front of this ball just in time, but doesn't get in front of it, just gets kind of, like, he pops up in front. But one thing he does really well here, he doesn't give up on the play. He lands. He jumps. He doesn't have boost, so he actually side flips back to net to give him that extra little space. To make a save. It's a little bit lucky. Not going to lie. But um, he, he does make the save. And I do like that he at least tried to make the save. It's a good shot here. Just want you to direct that right into the net. As soon as you can. On the more inside post. Uh, or to the left side of the net. Could have probably won even more left. But he didn't really need to. So just good shot there on the turnover. And uh, you want to stay low there. To make that shot high. So that was good. See this play. Why give my life that time to make this play. That's easily his ball. But look at all this time he has. This play, you got to come out of net at some point for these. My life has to go get boost. On phase he's going to have no boost. He's not going to challenge this on you. And your buddy should be heading back anyway. So my life even goes for boost. There's no one even going for this ball yet. And he stays on the goal line. He should be coming out at that point. He, uh, he uh, could have easily curved behind that ball and went for the really hard clear on the bounce shot. A good idea there from CG. Um... But his uh, aerial just kind of whiffs on it. He, uh, he goes a little too high. Again, that, that, that's the second time we've seen him go too high in a face-off. Right there, though, it's just about decisions, like a reaction time. As soon as you see your teammate miss, the ball's in front of your net. You have to go for this. He takes a long time to go. See how long he took? He took basically two seconds on the clock before he decided to come out for that ball. You have to immediately, once you see your, uh, your teammate miss, go and attack that ball. That's just reaction time and I think he's just worried about misreading the ball so he's trying to take that extra second to figure out the ball speed figure out the bounce but at some point you just got to go and there he just takes a little bit too long turns into a free goal when he was in net uh, ready for that play and he's just a little too hesitant and probably the best way to learn how to be not as hesitant on a ball like going unranked Play a twos game, maybe even a threes game. Probably twos is probably your best bet. Just go ham. Just go full speed and just attack every single ball just to try and uh, get the uh, ball reading down a little bit more. Because the problem is you get into this hole that you dig uh, for yourself where you're not confident in reading the ball, so you don't go for as many balls, which means you don't get as much practice on reading balls, and then you're just kind of screwed in the long run. So, definitely is a good idea to just go in unranked and maybe just go, like, full speed at it. And, uh, see what you can do there. Uh, this play is just kind of like a give up a possession play. You gotta be careful with these. Uh, when you throw it in the corner like that, 
His teammate like just backflip to try and like set him up for something. But this ball is gonna land way too close to their two guys. What you generally want to do is throw it up the wall, so then you can try and make a pass to the middle. CG was also still trying to cheat forward a little bit, but didn't realize the play. Now this play I like. Usually he's indecisive. And he might have just been that way for this play. Uh, Weekings, that is. But this is a good play. A lot of people panic when the ball's right over your net. In twos, this happens a lot. Uh, well, like, especially when no one's going to be on the goal line in twos from the other team to make a shot here nine times out of ten. So it's actually a good idea. Just let that ball drift right over your net. Not a big deal. Just throw it into the other corner. Because the, the, that's where you want to throw it anyway is into a corner. It's not the end of the world. He could have probably turned around a little quicker and, like, maybe got ready for the near post play a little bit sooner. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not that bad. CG there just makes a bad tip on the ball. Want to push that forward as quickly as possible after they, uh, they miss a scoring chance. Just want to get that ball out. <clears throat> uh, once that ball dies uh, on that dribble, that's actually a really good time to challenge. And both of them actually go for the challenge, which is a good play. Like, not necessarily both of them going for it. But that's what you should do. Be patient versus uh, players uh, with the ball before they've made, like, a move. I would call it, like, a football move or, or a soccer move. Um, once they make that first move, it's usually harder to make a second one right after. Only the really good dribblers are going to do that. And at this level, that's not going to happen. So that's when you want to make your challenge <clears throat> and make the play. Uh, his teammate gets demo there. And, and this is just kind of this weak play here. Um, tries to get, like, a little tip. But again, like I guess the, uh, the tip might have centered it, maybe. But it looks like he's more just about keeping it in their zone and not worrying about where the ball goes. But he was trying to hit that high over anything instead of hitting it low and up the wall. And this play by CG um, just gets faked out, I suppose. I'm not really sure what happens here. Pressure boost. I guess, yeah, he just didn't see uh, like depth perception there, basically. He thought... Once the orange guy cut back, that he was going to try and cut it back right. Uh, but he was actually way too far behind the ball. And this face-off, again, it's just a little weird. Like, I can tell, like, that's what he likes to do in his face-off. But it's just much easier to just boost right at the ball and then flip to change it up based on certain blocks. Good challenge there. Like, uh, you only have 30 seconds left, so you kind of have to go ham a little bit here. Great shot here. That's actually really good. Uh, CG just kind of throws it back up and this time he's not that uh, indecisive He does take an extra little second But he does get up pretty quickly and beats the other two to the ball and that is like a major thing at this level Just getting to the ball first is gonna win you a lot of games and being uh, indecisive is not gonna help that so good play there All right, let's throw it around again. He tries to like throw it on the ground towards the net but you can probably just curl this up the wall especially because his teammate is not um not in a prime position for a pass anyway he's up the wall anyway so why not throw it up the wall let him spin around real quick and make a play seems like a lot of times that they're trying to force like ground passing instead of trying to take it up the wall which again he might not just be confident on the walls which is understandable but that's another uh gameplay aspect that that like you could always work on and uh that'll do it for this game guys it was actually a little bit of a shorter replay but the main thing here for Weekend, just a little bit too indecisive. Like, just go ham at those balls. When you know that you can win a challenge, you have to go. You have to go right away, or else you you, uh, you might give the other team enough time to make a play. Um, which really cost them the game here, because it was a close game. And uh, that one play where the ball was just sitting in front of his net for a good, like, two seconds, and he could have got up in probably half a second, uh, was really unfortunate. The face-offs I'm not a huge fan of. Oh, he could work on that. And, um, but yeah, it seemed like the teamwork was pretty good there. It seemed like CG, a little rough on the uh, aerial side of things. Just getting a little bit too high above the ball. And that happens. I would just go into aerial training, try and keep practicing that. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much, Wheat Kings, for the replay. You guys can check, uh, or I guess I would say check out replays, but you can get your replay analyzed by going to patreon.com slash kip00. Support me there. It really helps me a ton. I really appreciate it. And... Yeah, that'll do it for this replay, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.